Today on Most Horror Room, we're going to unbox from NECA. Here comes Zombo. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Most Horror Room. Come from My Room Tours. And today we're going to take a look at from NECA. Here is from the hit show Rob Zombie's The Monsters. Hey kids, it's Zombo. It's Zombo, folks. Uh, this beauty comes to us from NECA. Uh, we found him recently on a tour hunt at target so they're hitting target stores as of now so 34.99 us dollars uh zombo tends to bring um his cereal box and he brings a hat so it looks like he has real attire but you can see zombo kicking back behind his window pane locked in his plastic prison and it is very dark in there but this box just speaks volumes reminds me of rob zombie's house of a thousand corpses the way that he just does it i mean Rob is the man, flat out. I love all Rob Zombie movies. All right, folks, so you can see the box, how the box just symbolizes this character all the way. Let's check out the side. Another cool-looking uh, picture of Zombo right there. You can see the side. Uh, NECA Real Toys and the back, how he would appear. He was kind of like a like a celebrity on TV, TV but for the days of the Munsters. So for, I remember this character from... Um, the early Munsters, uh, when I was a kid and I used to watch the Munsters, uh, I believe Eddie Munster, this was his favorite character until he like met him and saw that he was a phony, that he wasn't a real monster. But, uh, yeah, you could correct me if I'm wrong. You could uh, leave it in the comments. But anyway, here you have the back. This is Rob Zombie's version of Zombo. You can leave the back right here, uh, read the back right here. From the TV screen to your living room, right there. Make snack time fun, time with crumble, creature crackers, right right here. And then includes hat and cereal. You've entered a house of Zombo uh, all the way around. That's just the way that it is. You can see the top right there with the Rob Zombie's monsters. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. Alright folks, first off, tail of the tape, Zombo is checking in at between 8 and a quarter inches and 8 inches. He's right between there from bottom of foot to top of head. And he is probably a little over 20, 20 and maybe 3 quarter centimeter to be exact. Um, not quite yet 21 centimeters, but anyway... Uh, Zombo could be hard to stand up because his figure is built differently. Uh, he's very stiff, but his arms are very straggly. So you will see what I mean. But anyway, he tends to bring a backer card. You can see, you could pose him like that. That would look real cool. Uh, it was in the box. That would be the scene where he would do his show in front of. Really nice touch. He doesn't bring too much. He brings a cereal box. Pretty cool the way that they did that. Um, I like this touch. It's a little corny, a little cheesy, but we always need a fun laugh in our life. And that was what Zombo was. As creepy as he looks. Okay, then he tends to bring his hat. His hat is of uh, soft molded plastic material. It is not cloth like the rest of his goods. Like the rest of the cloth goods that he has. So there you have it, his hat. Um... Yeah, this figure is nice. It's very beautiful in person. Uh, if you are a fan of the Monsters, for sure go out to Target, pick yourself up one. Um, and also I want to apologize for the fact that we just got a brand new computer. So trying to, trans uh, trying to convert everything from my old one, which is completely broke down, to the new one is pretty impossible. So I have to uh, get a new intro video. Um, I have to learn how to do the thumbnail work and everything else on this video. So I am trying my best to get these out, but it's going to get better folks because the new computer system we got here is very modern and up to date and sets me up perfect for about five years. But anyway, you can see he brings cloth goods, um, all the way this figure. And it's not like cheap cloth goods either. Real nice. I like the way that they did this. Um, you could give, I'll give them a turn. You could see that they did a, an excellent job with that. You could see right under here. He tends to have pants. Okay. 
so you can see that he has shoes his shoes look real good and this is something I want to show you right here right underneath here you're gonna need to remember this because uh, I'm gonna go through the motions of the review but right here you can see where they have that swivel like that rotation right here that's gonna be right here but right that's right below the chest but usually right here at the waist they would have another right but on this figure it doesn't it's just that and legs attached to it so keep that in mind folks during the review uh very different i haven't come across the figure like this one yet uh, maybe it's something that NECA plans on doing more in the future uh, but it makes it different so yeah so anyway here is his face how he looks really cool creepy I like the way that they did his hair. The first thing that comes to mind is when I see this character, I see a lot of uh, Brother Otis in this character. And it makes me believe that, you know what? I bet you NECA could probably do one hell of a good job if they were to do a set of House of a Thousand Corpses figures or Devil's Rejects figures just like this. Just saying. They just nailed it. All right, so let's go right here. Head will look down. Doesn't look up too well. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hold him because he's a little hard to get to stand up. Um, right there, hits that Michael Myers side to side. Uh, yeah, with, even with his hair like that, you could get his, hair, his head to spin around. His cape kind of gets caught in it. So you might want to watch out for that. Okay. And then arms will go up and they will hit 90. Now this is something that I want to show you. Okay. These arms, you can see right here, he does have uh, double jointed uh, elbows. Okay. But they are very bendy. Like, like at this joint right here, it's very, it feels cheap. Like as if it's going to break. Look at this. It, it, it does okay so just saying so you can see the double jointed elbows right there he has them on both arms and he also has bicep swivel so you can see that pardon my fingers but he has bicep swivel on the other arm double jointed elbows here you could you want to see his hands of course okay his things get in the way but my hands are getting in the way of his hands you can see those up close Obviously, that was a prosthetic that Zombo would wear to look more monstrous. Um, but yeah, it was just hands and he decked himself out. So you could see that. And as far as the hands, they go side to side. And it's, I can't really get them to really move around other than just spin around. Okay, so right here, at a, right below the chest, Zombo is going to have that rotation swivel moves around very good and i wanted i showed you that piece down there um the way that they attached his legs so his legs are only his hips are there they go i'm getting them to go hips don't lie hips do move um very tricky to get his legs to move okay you can hear that it almost feels like he's gonna break it's about what I'm getting there. But then the sidekick, he does a really good sidekick uh, all day, which is really nice. No upper thigh swivel at all. And then he has a single joint in the knee. Same as the other leg. You can see right there. And then on his feet, on his feet, let's see, they go down, up not feeling much yeah he does have a hint of tilt rocker on there and that's pretty much about it you could get his feet to move around if you want to uh to position them which i will say but overall this figure is not bad for 34.99 let's take a look at him with this hat on there you oh wow his hat don't even stay on all right so let's see here is it supposed to go on like that or there you go. nope okay maybe now 
No, you got to mess with this thing. No, Zombo's hat is not clicking on at all. So you're going to have to really just set them like that and just put the hat on there. Let me see. You can see a picture of them right there. Just put the hat on them like that. And there you have Zombo. I'll go ahead and stick his cereal box right there in the front. Yeah, nice little piece. Nice little work. Um, if you're wondering how he could look with his backer card. There you go. Not a bad touch at all. Not bad at all. All right, folks. So here's how Zombo looks in between um, the Halloween 2 Michael Myers, which is also from NECA, and right next to McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat um, 11 Spawn. So you can see the Spawn is a little bit shorter, but that's only because of the scale of the Mortal Kombat figures. But this scale would probably be the more proper one because this is the scale that he's from, uh, from NECA, the ones that bring the real clothes. Um, yeah, I'm surprised that Zombo um, came in a, um, a box compared to just being on the plastic uh, bubble that they usually put the real clothes one out. But hey, the box looks good. I, I like the box variant a lot better. I'll be honest with you. Uh, but that's how he looks between them. So that's my review of Rob Zombie's The Monsters Zombo. Uh, available now from NECA. He is on shelves at Target. This is where this one was found. I will repeat it. $34.99. And it was found today. Um, today is, I believe, President's Day. So, yeah. So by the time you watch this video, it's probably the day, day after. Hit up your local Targets you're after this because they will be hitting this week so just keep hitting them hitting them hitting them uh because he's available now all right folks so please like comment share subscribe uh hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hits follow us on instagram at most toys it's m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s most toys on instagram we're also on tiktok most toy room on there and right here on youtube folks we are Mo's toy room and I apologize for the fact of not having an intro video yet and everything else, but we are in construction here at Moe's Toy Room trying to get a hang of these new computer systems. I haven't even hooked up the new lighting yet and everything else, but it's only for your viewing pleasure in the future. All this is going to go down and we are going to have it together very, very soon. Thank you for watching, folks, and please subscribe today and good night.